What's up you guys? So I'm back. <laughs> yeah, okay, right? Um, I tried filming a video, but it would just not upload. I obviously still record on my phone. I'm obviously still doing that. Cameras are pricey and it's just not in my budget right now. But, <laughs> so I'm filming obviously this video in my car. Um, I'm waiting for traffic to go to go down because I do not want to be stuck in traffic so I might as well film a video I was supposed to film this video yesterday anyways um, but I'm gonna film it right now so I asked you guys what you guys wanted to see on this next video to ask me questions anything like that oh before I get into that I don't know how many subscribers I have but if you're next please subscribe and stay tuned for what's to come because it, it, I will post <laughs> maybe here and there uh, but anyways so I always get asked how did I get into wrestling? How did I, like, what school did I go to or go to and, and all that, right? So, sorry, my finger. So, pretty much, the way I got into it was one of my friends. He is older than me. He's, like, five years older than me. And he always wanted to be a professional wrestler as well. We both had the same dream. Uh, when he graduated high school, I was going into high school. So, he already had, like, somebody in mind and I my parents were, didn't let me do it so I had to wait I went my senior year so I was 18 and I started like just going with him to like the ring that they had because it's you it's basically my trainer has a ring in his backyard and that's that like there was no trainer there so when people ask me how long have I been training I say like a little over a year because yeah I started wrestling when I was 18 but it wasn't like there wasn't a like a, a trainer there wasn't like a wrestler that has been doing it for so many years training us it was literally me and my friend just messing around in there and like doing what we what we see on TV somewhat you know um, and then finally when I was when I was no when I was 20 was 20 yeah no I was like 19 I was 19 or 20 years old I'm not 100% sure but then this wrestler started coming and he he has had been wrestling for like 14 years is still wrestling so perfect you know he was helping us out he was taught me all the basic stuff that I need to know and you should always learn your basics if you're joining a school hopefully they teach you your basics first I mean they should I haven't really trained with no I've trained with different guys but at the same in the same ring not like a different place but I've had different trainers. Um, but honestly, I think that if you go to an independent show, go to an independent show, follow one of your favorite wrestlers, and then ask them, like, hey, like, I really like your style of wrestling. Where did you go to school? Like, where did you train? Or where are you training? Um, and hopefully they'll, you know, recommend you a place, and then you can start training there. A girl recently hit me up and asked me, where do I train? I kind of gave her some information, but where I, where I train... I like this guy's gonna pass by like anywhere. <laughs> Awkward. Just kidding. Um, but where I train, it's not a school school yet. It will be. We're in the process of doing that. So right now, I'm like, okay, I could tell her, but I don't know her. I don't really know her, and it's in this business, you sh it's hard to trust people too. So I was like, you know what? I will give her more information once the information is given to me, and once like we have our flyers and all that and we're promoting ourselves and you know we have waivers and stuff like that but it's just to be safe because the house where we train is not my trainer's house either so it's a lot of stuff but either way if you want to get into it just look up wrestling schools around your area start start there um like I said learn your basics first and then you can start doing all that cool stuff because I didn't start. I barely jumped off the turn, like did a flip off the turn. Did a flip off the top rope, just like two weeks ago, and I've been doing it for like a year because you have to learn your basics. It's like you can learn how to do a front roll, and you can learn how to do a back roll, and you can learn how to do all that, but you have to get it down to a T. Like just because you go over doesn't mean that you know how to do it. Um, and I am not a professional. I am not like. I have, I, like I said, I've only been doing it for like a year. I would not even be training anybody until I've been doing it for like 14 years. Um, but that's pretty much how I got into it, how I'm, how I'm doing it. Um, 
I mean, Jeff Hardy is my idol. He, I would love to be a high flyer, but once you get in there, you're, I was like, okay, maybe, maybe no, maybe high flying is not for me, but we'll see. Um, but that's pretty much that, you guys. Um, I hope I maybe answered the question. If I really didn't, please comment down below if you want more information. I will give you more information, but all I could say is if this is something that you really, really want to do, then look up a wrestling school near you and get the ball rolling don't assume though like just a couple months and then you'll have a match because it took me a really long time to get a match and i've had a couple if you follow me on social media abby lucy hardy on snapchat on instagram and then uh i just got a facebook and that's lucy love um then you'll see that i i'm ha i have the ball rolling i'm not gonna have a match until December 22nd because I'm gonna be next week. I'm going to Cancun for a week. So expect vlogs I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try um, But yeah, you guys okay before this video gets even longer and it's gonna cut off and it's not gonna let me upload it Just pray to God that I could upload it. Um, but anyways you guys everything has been going so well I'll update. I'll do an update video um, Sometime this week. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. All right, you guys um, please subscribe. I don't know how many I have, but the next one, please subscribe and stay tuned for what's to come. And always, always, always remember, when it comes to your dream, never give up, because it is your dream and nobody else's. Bye.